Hey, I'm Howard and you're watching Chat with Howard and Friends on Big Mo TV. Today we're here with the managing director of Tanamera Tropical Spa. We have Muhammad Faisal bin Ahmad Fazil. So let's uh, let's introduce what we have on the table as well. So today we're here at a healthier option. So we're here today at the H Temptation. we have on the table today. So to my far front, we have the nasi tak lemak. <laughs> That's where you know it's healthy. <laughs> it's a funny name. Okay. Yeah. Very cute uh, coining of the name okay. nasi tak lemak with the grilled turmeric chicken. Okay. Okay. And just in front of us, we have the meatless soupy, which are full of veggie goods. Mm. Right? And I think also high protein, high protein vegetables also by the look of it. You would know best. You, yeah, you, you yeah. cook a lot, right? I do cook a lot, yeah. And I hope this will then But low the carb. Test. Yes. Mm. So it's brown rice here as well. If you want to have rice, which I if don't see rice, have yeah. rice. <laughs> Okay. And to wash the, our palettes, we have the fruits of Eden tea. So today we are Adam and Eve. Oh. Pick a character. <laughs> I think more like Adam and Adam. <laughs> yes. Good. Okay, so let's enjoy the food okay. and the tea here today. Right. Bon appétit. Yeah. Bon appétit. So how is this healthy option for you? Oh, it's wonderful actually. I mean, it's nice to know that because it's so, it's not easy to find healthy food sometimes in Malaysia. I mean, we have amazing food, yes, yes, but yes. most of our food are not that healthy. So it's nice to have healthy food that's delicious. That's great. Yeah, because there's great. a lot of healthy food tastes like cardboard. Ah. That's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna backtrack a little bit on sure. the history of Tanamera. Mm. My mom started doing jamu. You know the Malay jamu, mm -hmm. all the herbal concoction and all that. We didn't start with Tanamera. So when she started doing jamu, so I started helping her out. Right. And I was started doing her own jamu and started marketing her own jamu and all that. So bit by bit, I started doing that. And then uh, that's how we started. And then after that, my, my sister started joining us. My two sisters are joining us. Right. And you know, and we were doing a lot of contract manufacturing for a lot of other people. And then one day we decided to, you know, why don't we start looking, coming up with something under our own brand. Right. Hence, Tanamera was born. Along the journey, what was your sort of biggest takeaway that you can recall? One, I think my, my main takeaway is that I think you have to love what you're doing. That's extremely important. I've seen so many people, even my friends, who hate what they're doing. You know, I do understand situation-wise, especially if they have children, they're married and all that. You know, at the end of the day, all they want is, is to have a paycheck. But life is, I think, supposed to be much more than that. I think happiness is extremely important. And being happy also makes you think clearer. You know, a lot of people don't realize that. When they are miserable, when they're sad, they tend to be close creating, up. yeah, close up. They sort of like create their own well of depression, of unhappiness and all that. So you need happiness to bring you out of that. Right. And when you're, it's like when you're hungry. When you're really hungry, you can't think straight. But when you're full, you can. 
You know, it's the same thing with happiness and sadness, you know, or depression. It's basically the same thing. Never ever ignore the little joy in life. We tend to only focus on the big joy in life. The little joy is the one that makes a difference. Okay, and now we have the desserts. Mm. So <laughs> less cutie desserts, as I said. All right. Less. Please, please, please. Emphasize please, please. on less. So this uh, is a yam pudding cake. Okay. All right. So let's dig into it. No, you, you go ahead. You go ahead. No. I'm, no, I'm I'm cutting down on my dessert. As tempting as it may sound. What are some of your personal guiding values in life that you still hold very true to yourself? I remember we were at Trendak camp. You know, my dad was in the army then. Right. So we were in the camp and I remember very, very well. It was after the party and we were driving back and it was raining cats and dogs. Okay. Really heavy. And the car was driving home and there was a bunch of soldiers in the full get up with the whole thing under the rain like walking you know oh, wow. so they just came back from operation or something like that you know like they were drenched wet it was raining and i was i remember i was with my sister and now we were laughing at them and i remember exactly what my mom said i said imagine yourself there in the rain you know it's just a an admonishment right she just said oh remember how will you feel if you are in the rain right but it stays with me until now. I will never forget it. You know, it's, it's an amazing lesson in life. Right. Is to put yourself in other people's shoes. Well, I've, I've, I, 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 have, I have a lot of empathy towards people. And I think that's one of my main guiding principles in life. From that one incident, I carry that for the rest of my life. Hopefully for the rest of my life. Hopefully I will never be a rich stage in my life or my success. Not now, still far away, where I don't feel empathy towards people anymore. Right. Thank you so much, Faisal, for sharing this chat. Most welcome. Hope yeah. you had an enjoyable very. session. I really did. And thank you very much for the amazing food. Yeah. I have to Sorry I can't take the dessert. No worries. I'm very disciplined in that regard. <laughs> yeah. It's good that you keep that up. Right? Okay. So I can't take full credit for this. We have to give thanks to The Hate Temptation for hosting us for a wonderful chat with Muhammad Faisal bin Ahmad Fasil. Very good food, by the way. Come for it. All right. That, thank you so much for watching and do share with us what is your biggest takeaway from this chat today. With that, see you in the next one. Bye.